hey guys what is up v queen here back with another video and i'm so excited for this video that i have for you guys as you have seen by the title i have found some brand new keystrokes in microsoft word that you can use with your nvda now I've realized that these keystrokes are not commonly known by regular NVDA users, so I decided to call them secret keystrokes. Now, let's get to the first keystroke. Secret, secret number, one. number one. You have probably learned your different NVDA reading keys already, but what I've realized is that most persons, including myself at one point, didn't know the reading key to read by sentences. Yes! You can read in NVDA by lines, but sometimes when you're reading by lines, it cuts off the sentence that you're reading and that can make you get a little disoriented at times. So there's a way to read by sentences in Microsoft Word. Okay, so I'm in a sample document right now. Let me first use my down arrow only to just read down by line like you hear. Identifiers can be used to name classes, variables, and subroutines. An identifier is a You realize it cuts off the sentence there. Let me down arrow one more time. Sequence of one or more characters. It must begin with a letter or underscore and must. Okay, cuts it off again. Okay, let me go back up to that top sentence. And let me use the key in which you use to read by sentences to let you hear. Identify Okay, so that special keystroke, the first secret keystroke in this video is ALT plus down arrow. And of course, if you want to read by sentences going up, you would use your ALT plus your up arrow. But let me use that keystroke now and let you hear. An identifier is a sequence of one or more characters. You realize it only reads that sentence and even though the line is not finished. Let me press it again. It must begin with a letter or underscore and must consist entirely of letters, digits, and underscores. And there you go! That's the first secret keystroke. Secret, secret number, two. number two. Okay, so now our second secret in Microsoft Word has to do with browse and focus mode. For those of you who don't know what browse mode is, browse mode is basically the read only mode and focus mode is the editing mode. So browse mode is what NVDA automatically switches to when you're on say for instance a web page because you know you can't edit what is on a web page so it's a read only mode. And you know once you're on a web page you can use some single letter navigations such as H to jump to headings, K to jump to links, T to jump to tables and you can also use just your regular arrow keys to go through the information. And once you reach on objects or items which can be made editable or which you can interact with, once you press enter or space on that object, it will automatically switch it into focus mode, which is where you can be able to edit stuff. So like edit boxes on web pages, if you press enter on them, you can be able to edit. And once you press enter or escape to get back out of the edit box, you will be switched back into browse mode from focus mode. But there's also a way to force NVDA to go into browse mode or focus mode. The insert plus space bar. Once you press your insert plus space bar, if you are in browse mode, it would switch to focus mode. And if you are in focus mode, it will switch to browse mode. Now, when NVDA switches to browse mode, you would hear this sound. But if you hear this sound, that means NVDA is in focus mode. Now, let's get to the meat of the matter. Remember that I said browse mode is like a read-only mode. So once you're in Microsoft Word, you're obviously not in browse mode because you're able to edit your document. So Microsoft Word is automatically in what we call focus mode. But what if I have an extremely long document, like say, perhaps I just downloaded a PDF book online and I converted it into Word and there are many pages upon pages of information and I need to be able to navigate through them without just using the regular down arrow to go line by line or control plus down arrow to go paragraph by paragraph because that can take me ages. This is where the browse mode secret comes in. So once you're in Microsoft Word 
and you use your insert plus spacebar to go into browse mode there are so many things that you have access to let me go onto a sample document to show you heading level one types of pets okay so i'm on a sample text here and you realize that it says heading level one you know like when you're on google chrome and it would say heading level one or heading level two or heading level three i have come to find out that you can also do that in microsoft word as well okay so i have a book but it have different headings saying chapter one chapter two chapter whatever to be able to navigate through them easily what i can do is to put each chapter name so chapter one chapter two chapter three at a heading level so what i'll do first is to select that text so this sample text i have right here this first text here is the main heading so i want to put it at heading level one so i would make sure to select the line first so i'll go to home so we'll do the start of the line cap t then shift plus down arrow types of pets selected then i would use my keystroke alt plus h ribbon tabs tab control expanded home tab selected alt h2 of 10 then i can use l from here to jump to the styles option l. styles data grid heading one heading one three of 17. and you realize that it says heading one because i have set the style of this text to heading one already that's why you heard it says heading level one but if it's just a plain text you have selected what you would hear is paragraph marker normal not selected normal one of 17. now in this data grid or in this menu what you would use is your right arrow key to go over in this row and then your down arrow key to go down in the row under it and continue on so i wanted to stay at heading level one so let me go over back to heading level one paragraph marker no spacing not selected no spacing two of 17. by the way i'm using my right arrow heading one heading one three of 17. then you would press your enter sample text dashboard Microsoft Word document edit multi-line selected types of pets. And there we go. And I will press my up arrow to let you read it. Heading level one, page one, section one, types of pets. There you go. Now, let me let you hear the rest of the document to hear what I have in it before I get to the other part of this video. Blank. Heading level two has comment dogs colon. So you realize this is a heading level two. So it's like a subheading under the main heading. I did some editing to this document. So I've added headings, links, and different comments and different other stuff to it. So let's read it and go on. Dogs are great companions and they are very loyal. Here are a few breeds of dogs colon. I also have arrows in here as well. Spelling error one. Pitbulls. Two Shih Tzu. Three Poodle. Four Mongrel. 5 blank heading level 2 cats colon these are very feisty and content to be high maintenance here link https colon slash slash and dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash cat out of link blank heading level 2 has comment pigs colon some persons have pigs living in their bathroom lol and that is it now let's get to the best part of it let me go to the top of my document heading level 1 types of pets now here we will switch into browse mode so use your insert plus space bar all right so i have my book and i want to jump from chapter to chapter where i have the different heading levels just like in google chrome your heading level one you can jump to using the number one heading level two using the number two heading level three using the number three and it goes all the way down to heading level six you can also jump from heading to heading just using your H key. But if you just want to jump to the heading level once, you know you'd use number one. And same thing for heading level two and heading level three and so on. So I know that my pet names or my pet categories are heading level twos. So I can use my number two now, just like how I would on the web page. So let's do that. Page one, section one has comment dogs colon has comment heading level two. And there we go. Then let me press two again. Cats colon heading level two. One more time. Has comment pigs colon heading level two. And you know that shift with all of these browse mode keystrokes will take you to the previous one. So for example, I want to go to the previous heading level two. I would press shift plus two. Cats colon heading level two. One more time. Has comment dogs colon has comment heading level two. Now let me go back to the top of your page to show you something else. 
Heading level 1 types of pets. Okay, also the letter A will jump straight to any comment. So let me press A. His comment dogs colon, heading level 2. And I can always read my comments in Microsoft Word using NVIDIA key plus Alt plus C. In my case, that's insert. So let me press that. These are my favorite. And it reads the comments. Now, I can jump to the next comment using the A key again. His comment pigs colon, heading level 2. And let me read it using my insert plus Alt plus C. I wonder about this one. And there it is. Now, let's go back to the top. Heading level 1 types of pets. Remember that I also said I had an arrow in this document. You can jump to your errors using the W key. Spelling error pitbulls. And then you can always change your errors using your applications. Pitbulls. And I'll press enter. Sample text dash word. Microsoft Word document multi-line. Spelling error 2. Shitsa 3. Poodle 4. Mongrel heading level 2 cats colon. These are very feist. Heading level 2 cats colon. 5 blank. 4 mongrel. 3 poodle. Spelling error 2. Shih tzu. And you realize after it takes me out of the arrow, it automatically starts reading down after that. But I just used my up arrow and I came up to the next arrow. But let me go back to the top. Heading level 1 types of pets. Let me press W again to let it jump to the next arrow. Spelling error shih tzu. There, then I can use my applications key again. Shiatsu. Then if it's Shiatsu, or I can just down arrow to ignore. Shiatsu. Shiatsus. Shizue. Ignore all I. Microsoft Word document edit multi-line. Two Shitsu. Okay, then I press Ctrl plus home again. Heading level one types of pets. And let me press W to see if there are any more arrows. No next error. There are no more errors. Now, remember I also had a link in my document. You can always jump to links using the K. Link https colon slash slash and dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash cat. Awesome! And we're almost finished with the video. Secret, secret number, three. number three. Now, there's a third secret. While still in browse mode, and make sure that you're in browse mode before you try this, or else you won't get the same result. You can always jump to the different elements using the elements list. Yes, so instead of using the single letter keys, you can also use the elements list. Okay, so before we open the elements list, you have to make sure that you are at the start of your document before you open the elements list. Because if you are, say, midway in the document, it will only list the elements from where you are to the end of the document. It won't list any of the elements above that. So let me go to the start of my document. Heading level 1 types of pets. Then I will do insert plus F7 or use your NVDA key. So NVDA plus F7. Elements list dialog. Tree view. Types of pets expanded one of one level zero. Okay, now tab to where you hear it says types. Filter by colon. Move to button alt. Cancel button. Type colon. Grouping. Headings radio button checked alt plus H. And you would realize that it says headings because I was currently on a line with a heading in it, which was the types of pets. Now, let me go down in the list to let you hear the different things that you can navigate to using the elements list. Annotations radio button checked alt plus A. So this would be your comments. Down arrow again. Charts radio button checked alt plus C. Charts. Errors radio button checked alt plus E. So the errors that I just had in the document there with the Shih Tzu and the Pitbull, you could navigate to those as well. Links radio button checked alt plus K. And you can navigate to links. Now, let me navigate for example to an annotation to let you see. So go down to annotations. Headings radio button checked alt plus Annotations radio button checked alt plus A. And once you down arrow to something, it automatically selects it. Now, let me tab to my tree view to let it list the different annotations to me or comments. Tree view. Comment colon. These are my favorite by Shen on 2021-07-0910-39-00 expanded one of two level zero. And that shows me that there are two comments, right? So let me navigate to the second comment. So down arrow. Level zero comment colon. I wonder about this one. By Shen on 2021-07-0910 colon 36 colon 002 of 2. Alright, and then 
simply to navigate to this comment I will just press my enter key. Sam has comment pigs colon heading level 2. And there we go, that's it. And please remember to exit out of browse mode using your insert plus spacebar again if you want to edit the document because you can't edit the document in browse mode. And that is it for this video, but wait, I have one extra keystroke for you. This is not for Microsoft Word though. This is just generally for Windows. I didn't know this at first, I actually just found this out today. I always had to use my Windows plus B and then scroll through my notifications to find out what is my battery level, if my battery is dying. But I found out the keystroke insert or NVDA plus shift plus B tells you what your percentage is. So let me try that. 100% AC power on. And there we go. And that's it for this video, guys. I am glad to be able to share all these wonderful keystrokes with you. I hope you enjoy the video. And any other keystrokes or fun tips that I find out or secrets, I'll be sure to share them with you. Be sure to like the video, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell to be alerted when I'll post new videos on this channel. Also, be sure to comment below to let me know what you think about this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.